Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Missile Pass, Case 29, Bloodbath. Let's unlock Chapter 3 and someone sent us a freaking snake. Ah, a snake, Tria, help. Someone get it away from me. How did it get on your uh, shoulder anyway? Ooh, a rattlesnake. I've been white, started one for ages. Thank you, Manny. Wow, you got balls, dude. Do as you wish with it as long as you get it far away from me. That guy was a little bite, Ascatia. Snakes, just what this investigation needed. You were you can't forget that snake was sent to you, specifically. I bet there was nothing else in the boss, it was clearly a threat meant to rattle us. The Titus must be behind this, maybe Toria himself, but he won't be intimidated off this investigation. Until you learn the two other crises, it will solve this murder come what may. But who sent us the package? Uh, I guess we're not gonna do anything about this box. I don't know, maybe some stain was left, uh, maybe fingerprints. No, let's just leave it behind and focus on Venus murder. CJ. Catastro Joan. Probably. Playing cards and we know the killer plays poker. You'll pay for this, Vinny. Oh. Good thing I really should have been out of bounds for everyone, but I see you still found an array full of clues. But yeah, there's a chat attached to this pite horsery. It says you'll pay for this, Vinny. We must find out who sent it. Perhaps a sample of the dirty sponge so the note can tell us. And our letter drew has the initial CJ on it. Could it mean cast of Joan? What's Joan's journal doing here? That's a lock it in to find out more. You also found two heads of poker, which means Vinny had company when playing. The white power might lead to his partner. We need a sample. I think I still think Victoria says that snake is a trap, but we won't let our attention water. Let's get to work. Okay. Alright, first let's do this poker cards. Oh wait, those cards, does that mean a uh, full house? If it's a poker supposed to be? Wait, full... I think full house, as far as I know from poker, it's three of kind and uh... One pair, right? Alright, let's just leave it like that. But yeah, let's get the white power from it. It's cost of yellow and we need to find out who he was playing with. I know it's not flush, and... No, it's not even straight. Not even close. Okay, now this horseshoe. Yeah, let's put a start to an unknown under the microscope. We need to know Tread and Vinny. Let's see about that. Now let's unlock this leather journal.
Yeah, it's true. appears to be full of cast of Jones' bounty exploits. Except for the sold newspaper article, set with the sherry brutally murdered by Italian mobster Giovanni Costa. Yeah, read the article Joe wrote, Get Revenge. Giovanni Costa? Was that Finny's father? We found out he was killed years ago by that priest back in New Haven. Castle Joe was seeking revenge for something that his father did, but he died at the hands of someone else. Other is she then decided to take out her retribution on Vinny. The only way to find her is to speak with Castle Joe immediately. Oh, interesting. Let's now analyze this black substance. Yeah, that fights cigarette ash. Oh. The Zephyr will try to annoy cigarette ash, Katia. So whoever wrote this note must smoke. Keen observation of someone who not only smokes but who also has a horse, Clay Westwood. Miss Westwood was trying our video and we need to discover why. We should question him at once. Oh, what went wrong with you two? First, let's go talk to Catastrophe Joan. Joe, I found your journal, the one where you threatened the revenge of Vinny's father. Did you decide the saints of the father will be wasted upon the son and killed Vinny instead? Whoa there, Cat Katia, those are some serious accusations. I didn't kill Costa, though I didn't want to. His father was a dear friend of mine, someone I looked up to, the best star sheriff and man I knew. Giovanni Costa slaughtered him with cold blood and I could never forgive that. So you can find a video about it. That's how your journal ended up in his room. I'll have you know, I was lodging in that room before you people put Costa there. I must have forgotten to stop when I was kicked out in a hurry. I tried Brabby all to stay at the saloon. I offered him my, my signed Buffalo Bill poster because he's a fan, but he didn't budge. The truth is, I would have liked to off Costa, but someone got him first, so you're barking up the wrong tree here, Captain Katia. Am I? Now let's go talk to Clay. Mr. West, we said you knew nothing about Mr. Costa's brother, and yet we found your threat in his room. What was he to pay for? I guess it may have been to the counter, Captain Katia. But he done me wrong. You see, when Costa was caught killed and Farmer fell, he tried to escape using my horse. Why poor bulls, I couldn't make that jump over the fence and broke one of his legs. So why was it going to pay for it? Too darn right, my horse is my pride. Where I come from, men go to battle for less. Not to mention I'd be offered the chance to do some trick riding for Buffalo Bill's show. No way I could do that now with a lame horse. Now I'm just traveling from town to town trying to make a buck play poker. So excuse me if I'm not sorry cause I's dead. You're our number one suspect, dude. Let's check out this white powder. God damn, yeah, there's a uh, bit of a powder keg on our hands. What do you mean, Viola? You know about a separate group of the poker cards in Vinny's room? I know who it belongs to, and you aren't going to like it. This is a talk based mix I myself concocted for Rose for when her prosthetic rubs against her arm. I say Rose was playing poker with Vinny instead of standing guard? I believe. Let's go talk to her at once. Well, she was probably bored. But is there something more? Rose, you found out you were playing poker with Vinny while you were supposed to have been watching him. And, my eyes were closed while we were playing, there wasn't much to do other than sit away, might as well make it enjoyable. Here to stay, so within this and you leaving Vinny unguarded to go out to the street, you've shown negligence in keeping him safe. I think you don't trust me after all this time. I got my own way of doing things and I won't have you or anyone else call me incompetent. I'm the security expert here. 
Rose, the last thing I think I want is to hold you under suspicion, but you're not helping your own case. Oh god. I think I you may have tried to scare us off with that snake, but instead we are close to the devil to catch if it is killer. We cast of Joe who carried a group against Vinny for the murder his father had committed. And claimed Wesley who was furious that Vinny for maybe his horse. We got solid suspects. All we need is a few more clues and we got our killer. You're right, Tia. Yeah. We know the kill lured Rose outside with the explosion. They might have left more clues there. Wait, the street of suffer wild must then let us go to Main Street. Okay. So gotta catch this motherfucker. Whoever killed him, he was probably paid by Vittorio to kill Vinny. We're going to expose him, so why not? And also, where is Vittorio? Because it all during all the during this case, everyone uh, says that Vittorio disappeared. But where? Maybe he's just trying to hide from us. What? I clicked on it and you didn't respond. Yeah, I knew coming back here was a good idea. Those pieces of glass are covered in blood. These shots could have come from a bottle the killer used to slice with his throat to open. We must put it back together. Every the time is off the essence, I'll search the rubbish bin straight away. Oh, I totally forgot that you haven't found a murder weapon. So it's gotta be something sharp. No, of course. Broken glass bottle. Why not? Alright, so it was somebody who drinks. I know that the kill drinks whiskey, but this is not a whiskey bottle, so... Deal, this black shadow bottle must be on a murder weapon, but the only way to confirm it is to send it to Viola. Wait, did I say the kill drinks whiskey? Do we have that evidence? Whiskey punch. Oh, I, I, I thought I messed it up. <laughs> Sorry, I totally forgot. Alright, now let's search this trash can. Ah, oh, is that a key to Vinny's room, right? I think that's a rather odd key, finding that rubbish. It's got Fat Chancellor written on it. You have Fat Chancellor is where Vinny was staying. Could this be the key the cure used to open the door? If you ever recognize a counterfeit key, it's Diego. Let's ask to have a look at this. Oh, counterfeit. <laughs> Nine hours. Let's first check out this bottle and is it the murder weapon? Fillet of a fatty snake in the culture boil and bake. I don't know this quote, so. Had quite enough snakes for the day, Viola. Thank you. It is, so am I. Unimaginable what happens on this ship. What will be next? Fuck your ass at least solve life's puzzling question. The bloody body of Seppi is indeed your murder weapon. I tested the blood on the shattered rib and it matched that of your victim. The killer used this bottle to slice his throat wide open. No, the killer must have held the bottle by the neck. I tested the area for any biological traces and I found one. The faint skin traces left on the body indicate your killer is male. So Akira is a man? I think it's really a dead man walking with you hot on their trail. So it's not Rose, so... Okay, now this key. Madeline, I heard you and Mr. Potter recover a mad key entangled. Sure you did not forsake me so. I regret that there's a main point of dashing night to your damsel in distress. Right. Well, Diego need to know about that key we found. Was that duplicate made to open the victim's room? Not just the victim's room. This is a loose a master key. It opens every door there. Katia Kiro must have stolen that key from the saloon. That's how they got into Vinny's room. Indeed. Which is why when I discussed how minuscule red fingers attached to the key, I asked you theoretical Miss Pepper to examine them. And she said the red fingers of the key are from Clothie. Your Kiro is donating the color red. 
Akira is wearing the color red. Katia yeah, is red hot. Little boy straight to death. Yes. Katia is out to rescue his Kira. Let's, let's spare no time. Let's find the rest of and see why did he kill him. Well, he's wearing all, all grey, so... Yeah, for a moment I thought it was going to be Frank, but she's female. It's not even Joan. Why does it have to be someone I don't expect to kill? And was it uh, on Italian's orders that you killed? Or something else? Clay West, you had a rest for the murder of Vinnie Costa. Did you actually kill him because he maimed your horse? I beg your pardon, ma'am? I never killed anybody in my life, and bulls I can attest to that. Is that so? Then why do we find your Buffalo Bill watch found covered in his blood? I do love Buffalo Bill as any self respecting cowboy show, but as for the rest, I couldn't tell you. Try to tell us why you found your poker torn by handkerchief in the bomb you set up to lure our guard away and kill Vinny. I met a man past it, but Bob Crat is one of them. But I suppose drinking is like a whiskey punch we found in the victim's hair. Or the broken alcohol bar that you used to guard with his throat wide open. Ma'am, uh, I. Fine, I'll quit beating the devil around the stuff. Yes, I killed Costa. That man was going to ruin everything the Italians are trying to set up here, and I couldn't let that happen. So you did it because of the Italians? I knew Vinny's death had to be a later Victoria somehow, Katria. I wasn't always on their side, mind you. When I saw all their folks' lands being stored away from there, I got angry. I looked for the Italians ready to commit them to the bone or cart. But then they told me Victoria's plan to bring in the railroad, which meant more people, more farms, more work, I'd be able to make a decent living again. So I came away to size his testimony against Victoria. Darn right I did. Wasn't in your heart, just had to steal all master's key and distract that copper away. And I don't regret it, Capetra was going to make Coins go great again, and I wasn't gonna let a good for nothing maggot ruin that. Well, Mr. Vessi, you won't be enjoying Coins go great eight times soon, because now you'll be an inmate. You're under arrest. <laughs> Mr. Clay West, is that accused of the murder of Vinny Costa? How do you plead? Your Honor, I'm guilty as charged, but I did it for the sake of all Coins Gorge. Capetra has great plans for his here place of fires, and Costa was going to get in the way. Mr. West, with Eric Bench is a tourist mob leader, and so we've been trying to arrest for quite some time. By murdering our sole witness against Mr. Capetra, not only have you committed a crime, you have struck the justice, which is a great disservice to all courtiers. Have no style for the disregard of law and order, order, order that you have displayed, sir. With that, I sentence you to 25 years in prison. I'll take my punch, but someone please look after my, after my dear bullseye for me. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, I can't believe Clay West would believe Victoria's lies enough to kill a man. Victoria will improve life in Coyote Gorge. What nonsense. He only cares about his own power and he'll remove any obstacles in his way. Just look at the way everybody probably this town is only packed up and left town. Bet you Eddie Victoria was behind that too. He was. I think I know why everyone left town. Victoria and his men are on the street. He's challenging us, he's challenging us to a showdown. Oh, you want the showdown? Why not? Let's do it. That is going to be in the next video. We're gonna stop here to play Once Upon a Time in the East, number 5. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye! Uh,